What's going on, everybody? It's David from the 80s, and you are now entering the Cinema Chop Shop, so park your ass right there. And while you're there, don't forget to hit the like, the share, the subscribe button. Also, if you check the link below, you'll see a Patreon account. If you click it, you can become a member. All you got to do is try, recommend movies and music and trailers made to react. Just click the damn link. Now, with that being said, we're here today with yet another review. Now, I am reviewing a Spanish horror film from Netflix, right? And the only way that I could describe this movie is... It's like if, you know, I know what you did last summer, met Scream, and they came together and fucked. And then that love child met the characters or the movie, Urban Legend, and came together and fucked. And then that child would be what you have right now with this movie called The Book Club Killers. Now, me personally, I thought the title sounded kind of strange. The title wasn't what reeled me in. It was this weird looking mask that the main character has or the main antagonist or the main villain or the main killer, whatever you want to call it, right? The kid, that was what, what dragged me in. It's so simplistic. It's so basic. But at the same time, yet, it just, it intrigued me, right? And this was a Spanish film. And the whole time I'm watching it, I just couldn't help it. I'm like, yo, this is like Scream. This is like, I know what you did last summer. And it's like Urban Legend. So a quick synopsis of the movie would be that there's this group of kids, they're college students, and they're all learning how to write novels, right? And a lot of these dudes are fucking interested in horror, so they're all into writing like horror novels. One of the characters, more specifically, she's she's gained some fame because she's written like a really good horror story. Uh, and what ends up happening is she, one of the professors or somebody ends up dying or is killed on campus, and these students are tied to it. So what ends up happening is a mysterious killer pops up and starts wiping them out and they have to find out who it is before everyone is eliminated. Sound familiar? Yes, it does, because it's a plot point that's been used over and over and over again. But more specifically, I know what you did last summer, right? Ran the guy over, thought you killed him. Dude ends up coming back from the dead. I know what you did last summer. Picks them all up one by one, right? You have that. Now, the scream aspect is that the characters are in this movie. A lot of the characters are, they're, they're like horror savvy, right? They're very, they're, since they are interested in writing horror novels, they just, they know all of the rules. They know all of the ideas. And these ideas get kind of like told throughout the film. And it reminds you again of, um, what's the name? Jamie Kennedy's character in Scream or any of the other characters that are like nerds in, a, in, a, in the genre that always end up talking about all the rules of horror. So those kind of ideas come up in the movie as well, too. Uh, now, the urban legend aspect is just because it's, all of this shit is taking place on a college campus. That's really what it is. Um, but at the same time, it's a fun watch. I'm not going to lie to you. The kills were cool. I enjoyed the kills. The killer's design was really cool. I like this mask. Love this weapon. Uh, and just the idea... Uh, even though it's so simplistic and it's been reused and it's been rehatched and it's not super original, I still had a lot of fun with it. It was it was very, very interesting to see this, to watch this movie, to watch like a Spanish genre film actually take a, an idea from from 90s, mind you, 90s horror movies and actually kind of like give it their own spin. It was cool. I had a lot of fun with it. Now, is this something that's that's oozing with originality? Nah, not at all, dude. Like, this is definitely something that we've seen before. We've all seen a fucking movie just like this before. I've just named you three movies just like this damn movie. So it's not, it's nothing, it's not, re, it's not rebuilding Rome. It's not reinventing the wheel. It's not doing anything new. It's not breaking the mold, all right? Um, the characters themselves can become annoying, but if you are a fan of 90s horror, then you're probably going to be okay with it. Because these characters remind me of every damn character in the 90s. Every, I, I don't know if it was just me, but every 90s, early 2000s horror movie, when you watched it, you didn't give a shit if nobody lived or nobody died. And all of the characters in some shape, form, or fashion annoyed the shit out of you. And you really didn't care what happened to them. And that's how I felt along this movie. Now, when you get to the end of the movie, you get the big reveal. The big reveal is okay. All right? Because remember, this is a whodunit. It's like Scream. Um, the big reveal was okay. I thought it... I thought it it served its purpose. They get they get a couple cool, like kudos for that, but at the same time, I mean, it's nothing, it's nothing to wow you. I mean, it's a fun movie to watch. It's cool to kill time if you guys are just in the mood to watch something horror related, but you kind of like 
um, exacerbated all of the freaking horror movies that are in your collection, I you're browsing through Netflix, go ahead and pop this in. It, it's a fun little hour and a half watch. It's not a long movie, so that's another good plus. Because a lot of these movies now, the run times are running like two hours, and sometimes you don't feel like sitting still that long. This movie's about an hour and 30 minutes. It goes by pretty fast. Um, The third act did feel a little bit rushed. Like, you realize that you have all of these characters left over, and you're just like, I thought the killer said he was going to pick them all off. So it really feels like it's a race to see. Let me kill these last people off before the 30 minute marker is up. Right. Um, it's a speed. It's a, it's a race against time. Um, but anyway, like I said, I had a lot of fun with this movie. It was interesting. I think you'll like it too. You don't have to watch it in subtitles and in Spanish. You don't have to watch Spanish language and in English tub subtitles. They have an English dub if you want to watch it. So I would go ahead and go ahead and pop that in if that's something that you want to do. I had a lot of fun with it. I thought it was entertaining. Let me know in the comment section down below. Have you guys heard of the book club killers? Have you even, even remotely thought about clicking on the book club killers? But if not, go ahead and check it out, man, if you're a horror fan. But if not, hey, I understand. I get it. Time, you don't want to waste time. I completely understand that. But if you have seen it, let me know in the comment section down below what are your thoughts. Or let me know in the comment section down below if this might be something that you might think about checking out. If so, let me know. You are now exiting out the cinema chop shop. Hope you guys have a magnificent day. Adios, homies.